The COVID-19 pandemic brought many changes to our daily routines. People worry about their different matters. You may also worry about getting sick, how long the pandemic will last, whether your job will be affected, and what the future will bring for you. The overloaded information, rumors, and misinformation may make you feel out of control. Due to this, you may experience stress, anxiety, fear, sadness, and loneliness. Many surveys show that mental health disorders, including anxiety and depression, are increasing in number in the USA. The number of adults reporting stress, anxiety, and depression is more than the time before the pandemic. Many people have also increased the use of alcohol and drugs as they think it helps them cope with pandemic fear. But in reality, the use of these substances leads to worsened anxiety and depression because alcohol addiction can be responsible for weakening the immune system and chronic conditions such as heart disease and lung disease. Despite all the stress during COVID-19, you can manage your mental health. This video will help you with 10 different ways to cope with your anxiety and depression due to COVID-19. Hi guys, welcome to Top News Age. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications from Top News Age. Today we're going to look at How to cope with anxiety and depression during COVID-19. Let's get started. Number one, get a good night's sleep. It's not always easy to prioritize sleep, but it's crucial for our well-being. Unfortunately, during anxiety and depression, our sleep is affected the most. If your sleep is also affected due to depression and anxiety, try to minimize the consumption of caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine beverages in your daily routine. Go to bed and get up at the same time each day. Stick with your sleep-wake schedule even if you're staying at home. You have to create a perfect bedtime routine with relaxing activities such as reading, journaling, and listening to quiet music. These types of activities slow down your brain before sleeping. Number two, keep a routine. Make a proper daily routine for sleep, meal times, exercise, and work and stick to it. A proper routine can help manage stress and anxiety. Although the routines are always perfect for a well happy life, Keeping a schedule during a traumatic and stressful situation is more important. Participate in regular physical activities and exercises to reduce anxiety and depression. You have to find the activities that include the movement, such as dance and exercise apps. Also, set aside a special time for the activities you enjoy. This will make you feel more in control. Even a few minutes of your enjoyable activities can reduce anxiety and depression. Select a technique that perfectly works for you and practice it regularly. Practice gratefulness and mindfulness. Being grateful always helps to cope with stress and anxiety during challenging times. Thinking about the good things of your life always releases the feel-good hormones. Today, practicing mindfulness meditation is also gaining popularity to deal with depression, anxiety and stress. You can practice mindfulness by sitting or lying down in a quiet place. You have to focus on your breath. Notice your inhale and exhale and allow all your inner thoughts to move away from you. Seek social support. Getting support from others always plays an important role in dealing with depression and anxiety symptoms. It is hard to stay connected with your loved ones during the pandemic, but it's very important for you to feel less alone. You can get help from a peer support group either in person or online. The online option is very helpful during the pandemic. You can easily find online community resources for this purpose as depression and anxiety are very common these days. Number five, use contactless delivery. If you're worried about contracting the coronavirus, which is responsible for COVID-19, you can use contactless delivery for the items such as food, clothes, and medication. You can also access the free medical delivery and many stores offering this facility. These types of services also ease your attention about the shopping during the COVID-19. You have to get the benefit of these types of services as much as possible, especially during a pandemic. Number six, connect virtually. Connect virtually with your mental health professional using teletherapy to keep routine check-ins. It helps you to find the new best ways to think about your current situation. Whenever you feel like thoughts and feelings take over you, choose a therapist by exploring the different options depending upon your treatment needs, budget, and who you feel the most comfortable with. If you're unable to connect with your health professional immediately during this type of situation, try to share things with your loved ones. Number seven, eat healthy. Eat well-balanced healthy foods and avoid landing on junk foods and refined sugar. 
you're already at a higher risk of lung diseases if you're smoking tobacco, as COVID-19 affects the lungs. Avoid all types of beverages and foods that are responsible for anxiety and depression. You have to focus on nourishing meals such as fruits and vegetables, lean protein and whole grains. It's also important to enjoy the small meals and avoid the overboard. Number 8. Limit the screen time. The access screen time is also responsible for anxiety and depression, especially during COVID-19. The news from all over the world about COVID-19 can heighten up the fears of disease. Make sure to limit social media usage as it can also expose you to rumors and false information. Also, limit the hearing and watching of other news. And try to keep yourself up to date nationally and locally. Always look for the reliable resources of your country for any news about COVID-19. Try to turn off all the electronic devices such as television, tablet, computer and phone each day before 30 to 60 minutes of your bedtime. Number 9. Stay busy. Healthy distractions play an important role in getting you away from the cycle of negative thoughts which is responsible for your depression and anxiety. Try to keep yourself busy in the activities you enjoy the most such as reading books, writing a journal, making a craft, playing games and cooking a meal. You have to do something positive to manage your depression and anxiety as it's a healthy coping strategy. Moreover, these things keep you focused on positive thoughts and maintain a sense of hope. You can also set the priorities by creating a list of things you want to achieve while you're at home. Set some reasonable goals each day and try to take some steps to set some reasonable goals each day and try to take some steps to reach those goals. You have to remember that doing something is always better than doing nothing. Number 10. Do something for others. Thinking about the people around you and helping them can also cope with anxiety and depression. You have to find the purpose in helping the people around you as it is an excellent way to help yourself. You can email, text or call to check on your friends, family members and neighbors. If you find anyone who cannot get out, ask if he or she needs help. If any of your family member or friend needs to be quarantined due to COVID-19, come up with ways to stay in contact with them. Use electronic devices such as telephone to send them a note to brighten up their day. These types of activities also reduce your stress and anxiety. Let us know in the comments what you are doing to cope with your anxiety and depression during COVID-19. How to cope with anxiety and depression during COVID-19 Number 1. Get a good night's sleep Number 2. Keep a routine Practice gratefulness and mindfulness Seek social support Number 5. Use contactless delivery Number 6. Connect virtually Number 7. Eat healthy Number 8. Limit the screen time. Number nine, stay busy. Number 10, do something for others. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, comment, and share it. See you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.